The symptoms of thyroid cancer can be very, very broad range. Um, oftentimes people aren't even aware that they have a problem with their thyroid and um, will be getting a C-spine scan if they've had um, neck trauma or a CAT scan of the chest and um, the thyroid may show up on those. And frequently we detect nodules based on those scans that the patients aren't even aware of. And that's possible because we are, our imaging has such high resolution now that we can pick up these nodules at a very early stage. And that's an obvious benefit. The earlier we detect a thyroid cancer, the more curable it is. Um, other symptoms of thyroid cancer are a nodule in the low front of the neck where the thyroid is located. Um, and any nodule that is appreciable by the patient or their physician should, requires further evaluation, usually with an ultrasound and perhaps a needle biopsy. Other symptoms of uh, can thyroid cancers is they become more advanced related to the actual size of the tumor, and those are uh, what we call s causing symptoms, uh, such as swallowing problems, a lump sensation in the throat. Um, there may be hoarseness or troubled breathing, and sometimes even coughing up blood can be a sign of thyroid cancer. Well, the mainstay of treatment for thyroid cancers remains surgery. It has been, it's typically thought of as a surgical disease. Um, where, where the advances come in are that we are able to genetically type, you know, and get molecular markers on so many of these tumors that can help us target our treatment as far as what kind of chemotherapy or radiation they'll get afterwards, and even can tell us whether they're radiation sensitive or not. So. Um, that's where the, the real advance in thyroid cancer has come with being able to look at the actual cells and tell how they're going to respond to different treatments. And then for recurrent thyroid cancers that have come back or are very resistant to treatment, um, we can again, there are a lot of new chemotherapeutic agents that are being investigated.